practically in the middle of nowhere. It stands a very small and quaint church. Now the tower on this thing I like to call the music box of church chimes. And you'll see why later on in the video. This is Christ Church of Woodford. I've had a lot of fun filming this, so enjoy. Welcome back to Great British Bells. Today, I bring you something I've wanted to film for a considerable amount of time now. Uh, I've known about it for about two months and haven't been able to take a trip down there yet. But, um, sorry, I'm laughing because of a dog being silly. Anyway, um, I've wanted to film this for quite a while. Um, and here we are. I managed to catch it this Saturday uh, and film the 12 o'clock chimes as well as the quarters. Now, I don't think that it changed rings. I mean, it has eight bells according to dove.cccbr, which is what I use for finding how many bells a certain church or tower has, uh, when they were cast by who, etc. They're really good. Check them out. Uh, it's a website. I'll link it in the description. But, um, according to them, it has eight bells. Now, <laughs> the tower on this thing is tiny, so I, I very much doubt that. Uh, but, obviously, I heard the chimes, so, I mean, it could well be. But then it wouldn't make sense because of the, of the size of the tower. I genuinely do not think it would change ring. I, re I incredibly doubt that... I have incredible doubt towards the fact that it would change ring. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't. It's very, very small tower, and I'm pretty pr pretty sure the tower wouldn't be strong enough to handle eight bells swinging all at once. 
even if they were put in the usual style where they swing in different ways to counteract each other. I don't think it would work. But uh, here is the history. Um, between 1837 and 1839, it was decided to build the church on Wasteland on the corner of Old Hill Lane and Chester Road. Uh, and in 1841, it was almost completed, being built out of brick with stone, on, used only for the rectangular uh, mullioned windows and other features. Um, another one, another of these churches, but without a tower, was built uh, in 1837 in Handforth. And they were both known as the Sister Churches, uh, and they same the same minister for 26 years. Uh, but it, uh, the old church at Hanforth was demolished uh, around 1898, following the new St. Chad's being built. So, that's a very brief history on the building. Uh, it is a lovely, lovely little quaint church. I love it so much. Um, and if you're in the area, I highly advise you give it a visit, because it is just... Yes, it's set in the middle of nowhere, but it's a peaceful middle of nowhere and it's just a little tiny church with a little ch uh, a little music box like chime to it in the middle of nowhere which uh, I think is really lovely really lovely setting really lovely chime to it a bit music boxy because of how light the bells are um, but yeah it is a very very it was worth a visit if you're in the area uh, and with that on to the chimes So I now have the bell details up in front of me. Um, the I get the information from a website called dove.cccbr.org.uk. I'll leave a link, as I said before, I'd leave I'll leave a link down in the description so that you can check it out for yourself. It is a very, very, very good website. Finding out bell details of certain towers across. Um, does I think it covers like the world. I not just. Uh, the UK, but I have seen some bells uh, labelled in um, uh, the United States and Central Europe and places like that, so I'm pretty sure it's uh, universal. Um, sorry, worldwide. That's it. But um, I have the details here. So bell number one uh, weighs 100 weight, uh, one quarter and eight pounds. Uh, bell two re uh, weighs one hundred weight, two quarters and seven pounds. I think I'm reading that right. Let me just have a look. I think I'm reading that right. Uh... I think I'm reading that. 
about right. I am, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah. So, Bell... Let me start from the beginning. Bell 1 weighs uh, 100 weight, 1 quarter, and 8 pounds. Bell 2 weighs 100 weight, 2 uh, quarters, and 7 pounds. Bell 3 weighs 200 weight, no quarters, and 7 pounds. Bell 4 weighs 200 weight, 2 quarters, and 8 pounds. Bell, f Bell th 5, sorry, weighs 300 weights, 3 quarters, and 4 pounds. Bell 6 weighs 400 weights, 2 quarters, and 25 pounds. Bell 7 weighs 600 weights, 1 quarter and 15 pounds, and bell 8 weighs 700 weights, 2 quarters and 26 pounds. They were all cast by John Taylor and Co. of Loughborough in 1931 and are in the key of B flat major, which is actually the same key that York Minster used, my... Uh, which has my favourite peal of bells in the country, um, aside from Exeter Cathedral, because Exeter Cathedral is just amazing. Uh, but so is York Minster. They're in the same key, so that's why they're my favourites, because they sound so alike, because they're in the same key. But those, it has the same key as my two favourite peals in the country. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for my narration today. Um... I've just come out of a cold, so hopefully my voice sounds um, better than it would have done. Um, better than it would have done. Um, last week, there was no narration uh, due to the fact that I had a cold and my voice sounded awful and I was coughing every five to ten seconds. It was, well, not that specific, obviously, but... Um, it wasn't good, so that's winter, unfortunately, here in the UK. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'll see you next week with nar nar with the narration if I don't get ill again. Um, farewell. So, as my mum wants to go to a different shop uh, before we go home, I can't get a driving back video today, so I'll just film us leaving the church as I've just done. So. From next week, I'm Great British Bells. I'm great. I've been Great British Bells, and I will see you next week. Farewell. <laughs>